Hey everyone, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's often a bit of a puzzle for entrepreneurs, securing an SBA loan. Trust me, I get it. The SBA loan application process can feel like an uphill battle, but fear not. With the right preparation, we can turn that battle into a breeze. In this video, I'm breaking down 10 things you absolutely need before approaching an SBA lender. Stick around until the end because I've got a bonus tip that can significantly boost your chances of getting that SBA approval. So without further ado, let's jump right into number one. So the first thing you need, number one, a solid business plan. First and foremost, ensure you have a rock solid business plan. This document will serve as a roadmap and it is critical for convincing the SBA lender of your business's potential success. Okay, number two, a good credit score. Your credit score is key player in the SBA loan game. You will not get far with the SBA with bad personal credit. So if you have bad credit, make a plan to fix it over the course of 12 to 18 months and then come back and revisit the possibility of an SBA loan. Good credit is essential. Okay, number three, collateral. Prepare to offer collateral. SBA loans often require assets as security. So gather the information on the collateral you can provide, such as real estate, equipment, or inventory. If you're putting up real estate as collateral, allow sufficient time because the SBA will require an appraisal on that property. Okay, number four, a complete personal financial statement, a PFS. The SBA lenders refer to this as the PFS. This includes balance sheet, which lists out every asset and liability you have and all your earnings, including but not limited to your W-2 wages, dividends, rental income, and alimony. Okay, number five, the SBA loan application. And most SBA lenders will have their own applications, so make sure you have this completed and filled out. Super simple, super easy. Okay, number six, your business legal structure. Understand your business legal structure, whether you're a sole proprietorship, an LLC, or a corporation. Knowing your structure is crucial for the application process. You will need a copy of your EIN, which is your business tax ID, a certificate of incorporation, and a operating agreement if you have partners. Number seven, pass three years of tax returns for both your business and personal. The SBA will want to review both your personal and business tax returns, usually for the past three years. If you don't own any businesses at the time of your application, then you don't need to provide any business returns. But if you do own any businesses, even if that's not the business you're requesting funding for, you will need to provide a tax return for that business. Okay, number eight, past three months of bank statements. Lenders often scrutinize recent financial activity on your bank statements. So have the past three months of your business bank statements ready for a detailed assessment and make sure you have enough capital to cover any required equity injection. Okay, number nine, your resume. Demonstrate your professional background and expertise by providing a very detailed resume. The SBA lender will want to understand your background and experience and how you will be able to apply your skills to this new business venture. Providing a letter of explanation in addition to your resume will be greatly beneficial. So number 10, a PL and a balance sheet of all affiliated businesses. If you have affiliated businesses, include the profit and loss statements and balance sheet for each. The SBA lender will request this in order to assess your global cash flow and profitability. Awesome, so those are the 10. Now let's hear the bonus tip. So make sure you not only have all of these documents prepared, but also take that extra step of having a minimum of three SBA lenders review your deal. Why you ask? Well, when you receive those proposals, you can play the field, comparing terms and picking the lender whose offer aligns best with your business need. And here's the kicker. If unfortunately one lender decides to play hardball and you know denies your application, you won't be stuck having to repeat the entire process. By having multiple lenders interested in your deal, you can pivot seamlessly, saving time and avoiding the hassle of starting the process anew. It's like having a safety net for your SBA loan journey. So there you have it. 
these are the top 10 essential items that you must have for a smoother SBA loan application process. Remember, applying for an SBA loan might be a bit of a challenge, but with the right preparation, you can navigate it. You can navigate this quite successfully. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more valuable content, and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. Best of luck with your journey in securing an SBA loan and thanks for tuning in.